What the F is going on with Claude lately? I've been on the fence about publishing this video, but over the last week and a half, I've noticed a lot of degradations, a lot of hallucinations, a lot of weird behavior from Claude. Something's going on at Anthropic. Maybe you guys experienced the same thing and we're going to talk about it. If you watch my channel, you probably already know that Claude is my favorite LLM. That has to do with its coding abilities, the way it writes, its conciseness, Claude projects, and lately its ability to use MCPs. And I've been a pro subscriber for a while. I was 20 bucks a month and then I upgraded to the yearly plan, $17 a month. And it always works really well, but they've been pushing a Claude max plan. Now, one of the most annoying things about Claude is its rate limits. Claude will warn you when you're about to hit your rate limit and tell you longer chats make you hit your rate limits faster and eventually cut you off. And on one hand, it's nice that Claude will tell you that, but they also just cut you off, which is really annoying. So here's an example. I use Claude for my titles, thumbnails, and descriptions, at least to get me started. Last night, I'm in the middle of a conversation, and all of a sudden, I get this. Claude hit the maximum length for this conversation. Please start a new conversation and continue chatting with Claude. So it didn't even really warn me. Just hard stop right there. I didn't even get the output of this web search, and that's really annoying. It also said you're out of messages completely. So I was just kind of sitting on my hands at that point because we were in the middle of this workflow, and... It just stopped. Another example is I'm using my MCP evaluator tool. I run this cloud project every time I'm about to install MCP server just to make sure that it's safe, that it's kosher, at least when I install it. I'll post the video here. In this scenario, this is my first message of the day. All I put in my entire prompt was just the GitHub link to desktop commander. But look at this, bunch of tool calls. Usually what happens, it usually works fine. Claude hit the maximum length for this conversation. Please start a new conversation and continue chatting with Claude. So this whole chat is worth nothing. No resolution, no final output, can't even pick up from the middle of it. It's just done. And when I press continue, your message will exceed the length limit for this chat. Try shortening your message or starting a new conversation. So this conversation is kaput. It's a waste of time. It ate into my total rate limit and it hit the max for this one conversation. And you can look at any of these other videos where I run this tool. And not only does it complete, I'm able to continue chatting with it. So this is very disappointing. Now, I've seen people complain about Claude rate limits for a while. I usually didn't hit them, but now I'm hitting them a lot faster than I ever did. And what I believe is happening, and it makes sense, is they want to push people towards their max plan. Keep in mind, they are competing with OpenAI. OpenAI is able to keep subsidizing or keep letting you use ChatGPT. But Claude says, no, we don't have to compute. You're not paying enough, you're cut off. Subscribe to our max plan and you'll get more compute, higher rate limits, and you'll also be able to use the max plan towards Claude Code. Now, Claude Code is my favorite agentic coding tool, but it's freaking expensive. So I really feel that they're cutting down my rate limits and usage to push me towards joining the max plan. I understand it from a business perspective, but you're really hurting the user here. And I think it's cheap tricks. I also find it hallucinating. Like yesterday, when I was telling it to look things up and help me plan a title and look at my previous YouTube videos, which it has access to, I made an MCB server that gives access to my YouTube studio, my creator account. It can look at my titles, my thumbnails, my analytics, my descriptions, everything. And when I told it to look for it, it searched for Matthew Berman YouTube channel. And I said, I'm not sure you search for my YouTube channel. It says, you're right. So let me look more for Matt Berman, Matt Berman. Matt Berman, Matt Berman. Thank you, Matt Berman's great. I strive to be anywhere close to Matt Berman, but that's not me. And Claude knows what my name is and asks it. So why do you think I'm Matt Berman? Don't you know my name? I apologize for the confusion. You're absolutely right. I incorrectly assumed you were Matt Berman. I don't actually know your name from our conversation. And that's bullshit. This isn't even a long conversation at this point. So that was kind of disappointing. Last night, when I was working on the title and description for the video I posted yesterday about deep research, I just want you to see what happened. I'll help you optimize your YouTube video title and thumbnails for Deep Research Showdown. Let me think through this step by step. Tool call, which seems to work, but look at what gets inserted between each tool call. These are system messages. This is essentially part of Claude's internal system. So it's surrounded by automated reminder from Anthropic. Claude should adhere to earlier instructions contained in citation tags. Claude should always use ANTML tags to cite its sources. Claude must use around claims from search results. Claude should always adhere to early instructions, and then it gets a little more interesting. If the assistant's response is based on content returned by the web search tool, the assistant must always appropriately cite its responses. Here are the rules for good citation. Maybe that system prompt that got leaked the other day is real, and someone didn't even have to hack it, because Claude just put it all into this chat. It's really interesting to read, 
I suggest pausing the video here and taking a look at it. But yeah, it really feels like they're messing up. It feels like something's going on. This is around the same time that they're cutting rate limits. Around the same time they're pushing Claude Max so hard. It has to be connected. So overall, I still really like Claude. I am quite disappointed with what I think is a degradation of the model. I don't like these new rate limits. I don't like that they're pushing Claude Max so much so that Claude Pro is not even really usable for me. I've seen plenty of people comment online that Anthropic is focusing more on being a business and enterprise tool and not competing for the consumer market. And I don't fully agree with that because obviously there's plenty of consumers using it. I'm using it every day. It was my go-to. Unlike iPhone and Android, where we kind of get locked into these platforms, like I'm an iPhone user, I'm an Android user, I'm a Mac user, I'm a PC user. With these LLMs, we don't really need to get locked in. Yes, every LLM has its own feature set, but if you're paying on a month-to-month -month plan, you can theoretically disconnect from one LLM and start paying for the other one. We don't need to have this identity with a certain LLM. Not that I'm leaving Anthropic, I'm locked in for the year anyways, but that is a good thing about the state of AI right now. And the last thing I'm going to say is that I really like the O3 model. I'm using it more often than Claude, even before these issues. My main gripe is that it doesn't have MCP support yet. They said they would be bringing MCP to the ChatGPT desktop app. So I hope we're going to get that soon. So that was just my rant on the current state of Claude desktop for pro users. Again, I still really like Claude, but it's okay for me to like something and also be a bit annoyed or disappointed with it. So if you found this video insightful or interesting, or you have some tips or tricks or something you think I should try, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.